Hi everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas. I'm going to do a flip and drag on. Just old school flip and drag. Just going to have some fun today. And let's go over my paints. Um, I'm using mostly Arteza. Just a few others. But the first Arteza is Pearl Electric Blue. The next one is Arteza Lemon Yellow. My next paint is Arteza Ultramarine Blue. My next paint is Arteza's Port Bordeaux Red. Very, very beautiful color. I know a lot of artists like to use this Bordeaux Red. My next one is Arteza Pearl Rose. And my next color is the Arteza Phalo Green. And I did add three drops of golden turquoise, phalo turquoise to that, just to darken it up a little bit. My next color is the Amsterdam Pearl Blue. And my base coat is the Blick Titanium White. And uh, my pouring medium today is I'm using the mix, and I did follow directions on the mix, seven part mix to one part paint, and I did add a good squirt of water to all my paints. And let me show you the consistency here. Just leaves a little trace. I left it a little bit on the thicker side today. So what I'm going to do is turn the camera off. I'm going to put my base coat down. I'm going to fill my three cups, and then we'll get to painting. Okay, everybody, I'm back, and I've put my base coat down of the Blick Titanium White. I've filled my three cups. Let me show you one of those cups. I just filled it from the side. And I'm going to do flip and drag. So let's put the first cup down. And the second cup. And the last cup. Okay. Let them sit there just a little bit here. Let the paint fall down. And I forgot to mention that I did not put any silicone in my paints today. Okay, so let's flip this first one. Very pretty colors. Okay, let's do the second one. Okay. And let's do the last cup. Looks like I'm getting quite a few cells coming up here. And I think I will torch. It might be just a lot of air bubbles. I made this paint maybe two hours ago, made the paint up. A lot of air bubbles in there probably. Okay. 
So let's start tipping. And I think what I'm going to do is turn this around here. And I will apologize if you are out of camera at all during the process. I'm just going to tip it back and forth here a little bit. And before I tip any more, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just lift my cup through here just a little bit. Just to give it a little more dimension here. A little more interest. On this side, maybe just once, because there's quite a bit going on there. Okay. So just back and forth here at first. I really do like that red. And I will go over this corner and bring it back. I'm just bringing it down a little bit now. And I think I am going to grab an edge catcher. What I do is I just save my little cardboard edges from my canvases and then I use those as ed edge catchers. And hopefully you'll be able to see that. And I'll try and get it to this corner here. And then bring the paint back. That way you don't lose quite as much paint if you want to save some of the paint that you see there. I am just loving this red. Okay, and now I'll try and get this edge. It's a little difficult because I do have my push pins in underneath here. We'll give it a try. Come to this edge. And just go over that edge and bring it back. Okay, I still do have quite a bit of paint on this canvas. Just going to tip a little bit more over here. And then bring that back. And I will try and get this corner down here. Let me see if I can use another edge catcher. Okay, I will bring it down to this edge. And hopefully you are seeing that. And then I will just bring it back.
I did save a lot of that going on in that corner, which is really nice. Okay, just bring it back here into the middle. And I'll take a look at it again. I'll cover my corners here a little bit. You want to try and co cover your corners with the matching paint that you're pulling off from underneath your canvas if possible. Okay, I really like what's going on in this corner. Okay. Let's see, I'm going to tip some more paint off. I just have to decide where I want to tip it off from. I'm going to tip down this way a little bit. And if you put pins underneath your canvas, it helps you to hold on to your canvas as you're tipping. Because if you do, I don't have gloves on today, but if you do wear gloves or even if you don't, your hands can get pretty slippery. And so that just gives you that added benefit of having something to hang on to. Okay, I'm going to take a look at it now. I just really love everything that's going on. The colors are amazing. The only thing I really don't like is this in here. I think that... That got a little bit muddied. So I'll see if I can just take a little bit of that off. Okay, turn it this way. I'm just going to take another look at it. Just beautiful. And I do see something here that is in my paint that I will get out. And now I will clean off the bottom and check the corners here and the edges. I really do not want to tip any more off. It's just got so much going on for it. And I think I will torch it. And then I'll bring you down for a close up. down for a close-up. Okay, let's let's go down for our close-up here. This is the upper left-hand corner. Taking you down the left-hand side. This is really beautiful. This is the best part of the 
painting, I think, is coming up right in here this corner. I'm so glad that I used that edge catcher and just like pushed the paint back up onto the canvas right down in here. It just looks beautiful down in there. That's the lower left hand corner. Okay, we'll take you up the middle here. Stripes stayed very vibrant. Very crisp. I do like those little red cells popping up. And the blue and the green ones. There's even some pink ones there. We'll go over to the right hand. Top. Top right corner here. And we'll go down the right hand side. Again, those lines are really nice. And lots of cells there. I just wanted to do a, a flip and drag and a flip and drag and I actually did a lip on it. That's what it's called when you drag the lip of the cup through. For beginner acrylic pouring artists, this is one of the more simple techniques to do to start out with. So let me know what you think of this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it and share it. That would be great. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you'll know the next time I do post a new video. And until next time, oh, and subscribe if you haven't. That would be great, help my channel grow. And until next time, Take care, everybody. Bye for now.